Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist here at American RV. Today it's my pleasure to bring to you the 2016 Thor Challenger 37 TB. It's going to be an absolutely beautiful Class A gas bus. It's going to have a ton of sleeping space with extra built-in bunks as well. But let's go ahead and start on the outside. This one is going to be on the Ford chassis. It's going to have the Triton V10 putting out about 360 horse, about 460 foot-pounds of torque. Right here, as we move our way back, you're going to have the beautiful side mirrors. They will be bi-directional, so you're able to get greater vision. And that's going to be further enhanced by your side view cameras, which are going to be built right into the mirrors. That way, as soon as you turn your blinker on, whether left or right, of course, that uh, camera is going to go ahead and turn on accordingly in order to help assist you check your blind spots. Our front window on here is going to be an automotive bonded uh, windshield, which is fantastic. You don't have to worry about an H or any kind of division if you have an older coach maybe something that you deal with but all one solid piece which is awesome 22 and a half inch tires on there so nice big tires and one of the things I love about Challenger is going to be the paint. This is going to have the port color exterior, that's what they call it. Uh, but this is going to be a very high-end paint. It is Sickens paint. If you're not familiar with Sickens paint, the great thing about Sickens is that it never truly cures. So what that means is it's going to be able to flex with the coach. Uh, it's often used in your high-end sports cars like Lamborghinis. The reason for that, again, is because that's going to have a lot of uh, flexing in that coach. So your big advantage to you is you're never going to have spider cracks or anything along the roof line where a lot of coaches uh, they'll get that cracking in the paint because the, the paint cures doesn't uh, it's not able to flex with the coach never have that problem with sickens very very nice paint job it's also going to be cut and buffed so it just really really shines it'll stay uh, looking good for the life of the coach of course we're going to have our entry door right here nice grab handle to come in power steps we'll just open the door up You'll have a couple power steps that are going to come down nice and easy to get in. We'll take a look at the inside more in a little bit. Let's take a look up top here. Uh, of course, you'll have your nice rolled roof on there. Also, you're going to have two power awnings on this coach. So you'll have one here right up front, which is going to come out and give you shade protection from the rain over your door as well as your outside entertainment. I'll show you in just a moment. And you're going to have another one further back that's actually going to go out above your slide. So you're basically going to have an awning that's going to span the entire side of uh, the entire door side of your coach, which is great. Outside Entertainment Center. Speakers right here. We'll go ahead and open this up. It's going to be built right in. There's going to be your outside TV. So that way you can set up your chairs right around here, really be able to enjoy that. And they give you extra plug-ins right here as well. So if you do have like an electric griddle or something that you want to uh, set up here, you can do that too. Now one of the huge advantages of your Thor Challenger is going to be your storage. So we take a look underneath, you're going to have your strut assisted doors there, but huge storage areas. You're going to have your uh, rotocast um, uh, liner in here with your drain plug. So that way it's going to be 100% waterproof. So you don't have to worry about it rusting out if you have any standing water in there and it's going to have the drain to be able to go ahead and drain that out. The other thing if you notice, you do have a pass through in here up top. That's because they're going to use a 13 inch I-beam rather than your normal 7. So that's going to give you that extra room up top. You're going to have neoprene on top of that I-beam uh, I as well, which is going to help take out a lot of the uh, road vibration too. So very nice feature. Beautiful, uh, beautiful doors. Again, they have that strut, opens up nice and slow. They do a great job. These first three are all going to be storage. So the additional storage here. And then you'll get more storage right next to that. So huge storage in the front portion of the coach. One thing I do want to talk about too is the windows. On our Thor Challengers, we do order all double pane windows. A couple reasons. I mean, one, it's going to make sense for your insulation values as far as, you know, on your hot days, it's going to make sure it stays nice and cool inside. On your cold days, it's going to stay nice and warm inside. But also, it's going to help for your noise. That's not only going to be noise at the campground, which dual pane definitely is going to help keep a lot of that out, but it's also going to be a lot less road noise while going down the road, and you'll never get any vibration in your windows either. 
If we open this one up, you'll notice right here, you're gonna have your fresh water tank, huge fresh water tank on there. A couple things I really like that Thor does on your fresh black and gray tanks, all the sensors are gonna be mounted on the outside. That way you never have to worry about any kind of harsh water destroying those sensors. Or if it's in your black tank, you don't have to worry about any kind of uh, toilet paper getting stuck on there, which is gonna give you a false reading. So it's right here on the outside. Also, if it ever, ever does need to be changed, nice and easy, you can take this panel off, get to those sensors right there. The other thing I really like that they do is right here, because it is a nice big tank, they're also gonna give you a one inch drain valve. So that way it's not just gonna trickle out. When you're ready to leave, you can go ahead and open that up and it's gonna drain that tank fairly quickly. Right down here is kind of a neat feature. You have this D-ring that's going to be uh, mounted to your frame. That's going to be perfect for locking up grills, bikes, anything else that you want to leave outside, but you're afraid someone might uh, run off with it. Just an extra added feature right there. You can take a look here. Again, more pass-through storage. A ton, of, uh, a ton of storage in this coach. We'll have our propane tank right here, of course. You can kind of see right underneath, we'll have our uh, leveling system. This does have uh, automatic hydraulic leveling, of course. You just touch a button and it'll go ahead and level out for you. And then right here in the back, you're going to have additional storage right there. As we come around to the back of the Challenger, of course you'll have your beautiful rear cap on here. You'll have your ladder that's gonna be built in so you can go ahead and climb up on the roof. It will be a fully walkable roof. And you'll also have your backup camera right there, uh, again, for added visibility. So when you're backing up, uh, of course you can see what's behind you, make sure you're not gonna hit anything. You're gonna have a hitch that's gonna come standard on here. That's gonna be an 8,000 pound hitch. So you can easily pull you know, an extra trailer, a vehicle, anything you want behind you. The Challenger is gonna be able to handle it. Right here is going to be your uh, fuel fill. The thing I really like about this, the fact it's on the back, because you know when you're driving a bigger bus, sometimes gas stations can be a problem. There's a lot of cars in there, it gets pretty congested. You know, if you have to worry about the left or right hand side, sometimes to pull behind weight, you have to do a lot of maneuvering. By having it on the back, you can pull up to either side of the uh, gas, um, the gas pump, doesn't matter, just makes your gas station visits a lot easier. So we come around to the off door side. Right here is going to be our dumps. As you can see right there, a gray and black tank. Nice and easy for you. Here is going to be our Cummins Onan 5500 watt Jenny. So nice big generator, gonna be able to power everything inside. Uh, that way you can run your AC, you can run your fireplace, everything you want off that generator. Then in here, of course, is gonna be our cable hookup as well as our electric hookup. You can also see right there, we're gonna have our uh, transfer relay switch. And then as we make our way back, Here's going to be all our water hookups, uh, convenience center, you're gonna have your whole house filter in here, your sewer tank flush, of course, for winterization, outside shower. The other thing I love they do, if you check this out right here, that's gonna be your water pump. The cool thing about that is the water pump is something that's uh, fairly common to go wrong, and it's nice, easy access in case you do have to get in there and change it. Challenger's gonna make it nice and easy for you. Again, if we take a look in here, you can see huge pass-through storage. You're gonna have lights up here, kind of tougher to see, but you do have lights there as well. But nice pass-through, gonna have it there, gonna have it here, again, huge storage. One of the things that's really neat, I wanna show you right here, kind of tough to see as well, but this is going to be your override for your slide. So in the event, uh, which again, very, very rare, but in the event that your slide doesn't close on you, you can go in there, you can uh, pull the connections out, you can actually physically push this slide in, and then you can put those connections back in there and it'll lock it back up, it'll put the brake back on so it doesn't come out on you. But again, Thor, you know, they're always thinking when it comes to the Challenger, they're making everything very accessible, easy, uh, easy to use. Again, more storage here, as you can see, great storage. And last but not least, here's gonna be our battery box as well as our hydraulic connections. As you see, the hydraulic connections are gonna be color-coded. That way it's nice and easy for you to work on. If you do have to call customer service, which Thor does a phenomenal job on that side as well, it is uh, excellent, nice and easy for them to go ahead and help you out with that as well. All right, I know your outside is absolutely gorgeous. You can take a look here, the beautiful port exterior. You have your uh, topper on there as well, your sliding topper, just 
beautiful. Why don't we go ahead and head inside and see the gorgeous and spacious inside. Welcome to the inside of the beautiful 2016 Ford Challenger 37 TB. This one is going to be in the Monte Carlo interior and we're going to have the beautiful stained and glazed Milan cherry hardwood cabinets. I mean, they did a great job in 2016. They went to new woodwork throughout and it's absolutely beautiful. You really have to see it, but it's just gorgeous. Uh, they're going to have the brush nickel pulls on here. We'll open it up. You get great pantry space right here. Nice adjustable shelf uh, so that way you can customize it to what you want to put in there. Beautiful solid surface countertops on here. So plenty of countertop space because they are going to give you your sink top covers right here. Which we can go ahead and lift those out. You'll notice you have the undermount stainless steel double bowl sink in there. So nice big sink. And that's also going to be aided by your high rise stainless steel faucet on there, which makes it super easy to do dishes. As you can see, it does pull out and you'll have your controls right on the head there itself. But also aiding in that countertop space, you are gonna have a pop-up countertop extension right here, as well as you're going to have your cooktop covers right over here. One of the things I like they do, you have this nice built-in backsplash in case you do get any running water, it's not gonna run off. And right here, you have easy access to a trash can. So you can go ahead and throw waste right down into there. As you'll notice right in the entryway here, we have our door. Right there is gonna be the trash can, makes it nice and easy to take out. Also underneath, you're gonna have several controls on your lights. Your disconnect, of course, will be down there as well. And right above our stairwell, and I'll hit this a little more in a bit, but we're gonna have uh, our other controls from our generator start tank monitoring system, as well as our power bed, and I'll show you where that is a little bit later. But uh, also in our kitchen here, again, so nice, great countertop space. Like I mentioned, these covers are going to be removable, of course. So you'll have your Atwood three burner cooktop on there, which gives you uh, great flame control. So if you are one that really likes to cook, maybe you're gonna be spending a lot of time in your coach, maybe you're gonna be living in your coach, you're gonna be happy knowing that you're going to have top of the line RV appliances there. Also, if you can look, uh, you'll see you get uh, a, your regular conventional oven right here as well as a very large stainless steel Whirlpool convection oven. So you can take a look there, huge convection oven, which is awesome. So, you know, Thanksgiving's coming up. If you wanna cook a turkey, no problem. You can go ahead and put one in there. You'll have additional storage up top here. Of course, hidden hinges, self-supported there. Have beautiful woodwork and you're going to have great storage down underneath. So right underneath the oven, you have this right here, nice pull out drawer, as well as two drawers right here, full extension ball bearing drawers on there. And you're going to have additional storage right here, which is perfect for cleaning supplies, anything else you wanna be able to put in there. Right here is going to be our beautiful stainless steel Whirlpool residential refrigerator. So you can take a look there, as you can see, you get a ton of storage in here, just a massive refrigerator. Now this is going to run off electric only because it is going to be a residential refrigerator, but not to worry because this coach does have auto gen start, which is going to be tied into the batteries. This is going to run off the inverter and the batteries. If you don't have shore power, when those batteries start to get low, your generator will automatically fire up charging your batteries back up so your food's not going to go bad if you are going to be away for an extended period of time. Also this unit as you can see does have your ice maker and water dispenser built right here into the door making it super simple that way you can just go ahead get your ice right here for your cocktail or whatever else you are, are you're going to enjoy. Of course as you'll notice we're also going to have pull out drawer right here underneath. As we make our way to the side here, we'll notice our entertainment center. So again, great location right here. Up above, you have this beautiful um, frosted glass. This, of course, is gonna open up and have your components right here. And then right beneath that is going to be our TV and sound bar. Now the cool thing about this is you, uh, you can actually pull this out so it can come out like so. The nice thing about that is when the slide is in, when you're going down the road, you'll still be able to see most of the TV if you so desire. Also, if you're sitting in the couch right here, this actually does pop out on an angle just like that, giving you a perfect view. So that way you can enjoy the TV, it's on a great angle, you don't have to crane your neck to watch it, and of course you'll get that sound bar coming right at you for that uh, home theater experience.
Now right underneath our TV, you're going to have uh, additional storage right here. Again, hidden hinges there. Uh, you'll also have a plug-in located in there as well. And then down below, you're gonna have a very functional fireplace. So the fireplace not only looks really nice, but it is going to be a big space heater. So, um, you know, if you don't wanna run your propane, it does do a good job of taking the chill off in this room. Here, of course, is going to be a slide. Then you get plenty of space in here, nice big windows, slow rise roller shades throughout the entire coach. So beautiful shades, you're going to have your day shades as well as your night shades here, of course, as well. You'll also get some reading lights up here. So if you wanna sit on the couch and enjoy a nice book, you can snuggle up by the fireplace and do that. And you'll also have speakers underneath here as well, um, again, for your superior uh, home theater experience. Right up top, you're gonna to have excellent storage. As you can see, that'll go all the way across. Again, self-supported hinges on there. Just beautiful woodwork. And as we make our way over here, again, uh, this is going to be our, uh, our dinette. So this is a dream dinette, nice big dinette, plenty of room here. Uh, the great thing about the dream dinette, it is nice and easy to make into a bed. There's just gonna be a lever right underneath here. You can just pull that lever over and then the dream dinette will actually just push right down like so. So it is very easy to make into a bed if you so desire. Also, right here, you can take a look at this huge huge drawers on our uh, dinette makes it very easy access can just pull it out access what we need to right there instead of having to lift the cushions off also if you notice you do have backrests here um, so if you want to turn and put your legs up here for another seating area you can certainly do that beautiful light fixtures there as we take a look up front um, at, our, at our cockpit here, both the driver and passenger seats are going to swivel so you're able to fully utilize this space. Also, you have a spot right here for a table. The table's gonna be hidden under the bed, uh, but that way if you, you know, do wanna enjoy a snack, maybe a cup of coffee, play a game of cards, something like that, you can certainly have that space and be able to do that. Also, right up here, you'll notice you're gonna have this beautiful fiberglass shroud instead of your carpet. Uh, that way it's gonna be a lot easier to clean up. You know, a lot of your Class A's, as you're getting in, you accidentally kind of kick the edges. They start to get black, start to get dirty on that carpet. This fiberglass is gonna be super easy to clean. Also, it's gonna be smaller than uh, when most of them are, and they're gonna have a line to help a lot with your noise reduction, uh, so you're not gonna hear the motor whine as much. You'll also see you're gonna have several cup holders right in there, as well as a nice uh, non-slip mat. Of course, you'll have all of our temper con uh, temperature controls as well as plug-ins. You'll have uh, USB and 12 volt there, and you're going to have your uh, radio and backup camera. Of course, we'll also have our standards up front, like our generator start, uh, our light, as well as fan control, and our auto level. As you'll see up top, excuse me, up top, you get additional storage right up here. And the other cool thing is gonna be this part right here. This is actually a bed that is going to come down. It has a 500 pound weight limit, so you can sleep two adults on there. That control is going to be located right here, like I had mentioned earlier. So all I have to do is just turn the key to on, then you can go ahead and push this and the bed will lower down. So really, really cool. On the 2016 models, there is gonna be a mattress that's already built in there, so you don't have to worry about blowing up an air mattress like on some of the older models but that will just go ahead and come down you can climb up on there the ladder is also going to be located under our uh, our master bed but a great sleep extra sleeping space there even if you know you may not use it it's gonna be huge for resale because this can sleep a ton of people in this coach we have the couch you get the dinette you have this bed you have the bunks I'll show you in a little bit so just a ton of sleeping space in here one of the other features I really like right up here this is actually really neat the passenger seat this will lift up and out so if they want a tray it's perfect so passenger can eat a meal uh, you know if you're making a quick pit stop or if they want to work on a laptop or an iPad you can certainly use that there as well of course cup holders on both sides and if you are working on that laptop or iPad you need to plug it in uh, you are gonna have your plug-in on the driver's side there as well 
All right, I know it's great up here. It's absolutely gorgeous. Let's make our way back. We'll check out our bath and a half, as well as our master suite and our bunk beds. And the 37 TB, we are going to get two bunks. So this is perfect for the kids. They can climb right up in here. My favorite part about it is both of them are going to have a TV, so they're not gonna argue over who gets to see it, which is commonly a problem. Also, as the coach starts to grow with you, maybe the kids grow up, they're not coming as often, maybe you're gonna take a trip without them. As you'll notice, right up top, you do have a hanging rod here, so this actually will convert into a closet. And what you can do is right on the sides, you just lift these up right here, and then this will actually swing right down, like so, turning into a couch. So that way you get a couch here and a ton of hanging space, really turns into a nice closet. So a very versatile space, that way the coach is going to grow with you and your family. Right across the way is going to be our half bath. Again, beautiful door on here. It's gonna have that glaze. They just did a fantastic job. We'll take a look at our half bath. Huge, spacious countertops in there. Upgraded stainless steel sink, which is great. We're gonna get a monster medicine cabinet, which is gonna be mirrored, and you're going to have plenty of storage behind it. Also, right uh, in the back there, we're gonna have additional storage, so plenty of room for all our linens. We'll have a towel rack there. And of course, right down below, we'll have our porcelain uh, bowl with a foot flush lever, and your toilet paper holder is already going to be mounted. Let's come on back. We'll take a, a walk into our master bedroom. So right back here, you're gonna get a nice big queen bed. That, of course, is gonna be located in a slide out. Uh, it's that way you get full walk around, plenty of space, nice shelving on both sides. You'll also have a charging port there, which is going to have uh, 12 volt as well as a couple USB uh, ports, which is perfect for charging your phones at night. At the foot of the bed is going to be our entertainment center. So we'll go ahead and open this up. You get nice big mirrored uh, wardrobe here, so you have great hanging space as well as an adjustable shelf in there too. Right underneath that, you're going to have additional storage here, as well as three full extension drawers down below. And right here is going to be our stereo, uh, which is going to be Bluetooth capable. Also, you'll get additional storage right over here, more hanging wardrobe, uh, wardrobe space. If you want washer and dryer, this is where that would go too. And then right here in the center is going to be our TV. The other thing that's really cool is this is not gonna be wasted space as this will open up and you get huge wardrobe space there. So if you do put washer and dryer, no worries, you're still gonna have two separate wardrobes in there for plenty of storage for your clothes. In our master bath, we are gonna have our porcelain stool to foot flush lever, our toilet paper holder. And then up above that, you'll get some additional storage, which is going to be joined by very large medicine cabinets with mirrors on there. As you can see, plenty of storage there. Make our way down, we'll have our towel ring, as well as huge countertop space here, storage underneath, and our stainless, uh, stainless steel bowl. Here is going to be our shower. So again, plenty of space in there. You're gonna have shelving, you'll have your hand wand, nice big skylight up top, and you're going to have your tri-slide glass door. All right, folks, thanks for joining me. Again, this is a 2016 Thor Challenger 37 TB. It's a beautiful bunkhouse class A. You're going to have a ton of sleeping space in here. You get the bath and a half, the beautiful full body uh, sickens paint on the outside, just a, a winning floor plan. I also like you have this beautiful dark wood, which is gonna be contrasted by the light colors and a ton of lighting in here with the LED lights. You really have to come on out and take a look. If you do have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave those on the video below, or you can give me a call here at American RV and I'll be happy to answer them that way as well. Thanks for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and I can't wait to see you on the road to freedom.